We're Shane and Charlotte, and we've been traveling around Tasmania since early January. On our first week in the state, we headed up to the Central Highlands as Shane was really keen to fish the Great Lake and surrounding areas. But if you watch those episodes, you'll know it didn't quite go to plan. Got a sad boy, frustrated boy. Oh, we have not caught any trout still. Yeah, can't win them all. We'll figure it out eventually, but yeah, it's fishing, I suppose. Join us this week as Shane returns to the Central Highlands, seeking redemption and to hopefully finally catch a trout from this hard to fish area. G'day, welcome back to another episode. Well, uh, where to begin? So, quick update on what's been going on. Um, up in the central central islands in the plateau here in Casey. So we've actually got jobs up here, so. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done any video, any recording or any videos for a week or so. We've been working, just trying to restock the, uh, restock the bank accounts. So uh, yeah, probably no secrets as to really where I am. There's a bit of footage there on the way in. Um, but yeah, as you can see behind me, she's an absolute pearl of the day. Um, I got advice from um, yeah, one of the locals up here to, to come out to this little little lake. I haven't fished it before. The water does look a little bit low. Um, but yeah, I'll walk around. Well, it's really shallow, so I'm just going to walk around and look for fish. It'll be pretty much all dry fly. I got told small deer hair sort of pattern, so much else to it really. I'm out here a bit later than I, I was hoping, but yeah, got to organise a few things. This is the first day off I've had in a little while. Getting back into the... I'm trying to get used to working again, which is always fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm running a little low on GoPro batteries. Anyone who mucks around with GoPro batteries will understand that I saw those shit charges. Um, I came up with a little fix. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. So. But uh, yeah, the old zip tie. There's always another use for them. Anyway, that's enough of yapping. Let's go and have a look. Hopefully I can pull myself a donkey. Obviously, as you know, I'm very new to the whole dry fly aspect of things, so I've been practicing my casting, plus talking to, talking to a lot of people who are a lot better than me. Um, so yeah, hopefully today's the day I can get, get stuck into a good one. Okay, there's fish rising in front of me. As we know, just because they're rising, that doesn't mean you're going to catch them. Especially for someone like myself. This is pretty hard walking in too. It's very muddy at the bottom. So I'm just going to get up to about here. See if I can start nailing a, a casting towards them because they're right at the edge of the weed. We've got like a caddis pattern on. I'll start with that and maybe go down. There's all these little, I think they're a caddis moth, I think, flying around. I should have something fairly similar to that. So I'll start with a, a bigger pattern. And then I'll change up if necessary.
Häuser. Swim just underneath it. I've changed it to something closer to these little white moth things. Wait from your eyes again so I know where they are. I won't change it again. A few fish have definitely seen it, I'm not eating it. Definitely just spooked one. Yep. Oh. <laughs> How good is that? He's in the weed. Don't lose him. happiest day of my life. I actually did it. Holy shit. This is what it's all about. This makes, uh, I don't know how many bloody fishless trips. This makes it all worth it. He's not a bad fish. He's definitely my PB on the dry fly. She wish she had a net. Just tie himself out properly. Look at that, everyone. Old Shane. Got a fish on the dry fly. Not a bad little one too, he's not a monster, but we'll take it every day of the week. Yeah, where'd you put that fly for? Down in there.
before. Well. I think I had that gallon then, but I think another one just had a crack. It's really hard to see on the water this far. It blends in. But it just goes to show it's pretty much the closest thing I had to what I was told to use here. Which is, yeah, small and deer coloured, which is a thought was an odd description for a fly, especially from a bloody a guide. But that's what did the job. It goes to show you just um, local advice is key. Even though I caught that fish, I thought that would have scared them all off, but there's still a few rides in here. Maybe I'll wait a bit longer. Over the graceful caster. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Little tiny one. He's in that weed hard. Who would let you come, fella? Well, this is the fly. This is the one they want. Come on, here she comes. I'm going to go too close because there's bigger ones in there. He's right under it, damn it. There we go, come on. Just give me a bit of slack so we swim out. Under yourself, mate. Always wrapped right around. Don't keep going around. Ever seen a fish tie or not? You have now. Oh, Just cruising, I was about to walk out and go around that other side. They're feeding hard, look, right in here. What a shallow as. Just going slow. Be in casting distance soon.
Yep. Oh, I dropped it. Such a subtle, subtle take. Good strike, but didn't even feel the weight of anything else, just missed it. And again, shit, so close. Oh, yep. <sighs> That's got to be just unlucky. I was literally just pulling that back in to cast again. I'm going to change this leader to tip it. This is a positive problem, but... One I've never had before. <laughs> I've literally got fish all around me. I don't know where to cast. I don't know why they're not eating it. Maybe... <clears throat> The lead is standing out a bit or I'm bringing it down a bit hard. This is a longer cast than I've ever done. I'm definitely struggling with it. fish because they're a little bit closer. Right, I, that'll do us there. It was a pretty good day really in the end. Um, I mucked around for a little bit longer. I ran out of batteries and SIM cards, standard. So we're working on that, we'll get some new new extra batteries and more SIM cards soon. Uh, but yeah, didn't get anything else. It sort of went a bit quiet there once that wind picked up. It all, yeah, so they were still rising a little bit, but yeah, I had another couple bites, but nothing real too serious or, or any decent fish, so. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with it. Just, uh, yeah, it goes to show, yeah, local, local advice is, is key. And yeah, obviously persistence, so. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll uh, see you in the next one. Got uh, got a bit of a like a backcountry sort of thing planned, so hopefully we'll be doing that next week. So yeah, tune in next week should be a good one. Um, drop a comment below as well. Let me know what you think of the trout content.
um, yeah, I hope you like it because we're going to be up here for the rest of the trout season, so I'll be doing a fair bit more of it. But yeah, next week's episode should be should be good, hopefully. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you then.